we have something really cool to show you in this video and you're going to want to make sure that you stay to the end of it also um cool footage of a not too common snake slithering its little tongue out in slow motion definitely want to check that out just a real quick video here i wanted to give you a little service update on an aquarium that we recently started working on it has some pretty cool animals up front here this is max the carpet anemone max is some 30 years old he's got a nice pair of clowns in there as well there's these really nice redactus mushrooms you can probably see in the video some flatworms whamino and flatworms that we'll be working on but what i'm really excited to show you is and we've only been here a few visits that was a rock the last time i was here and you can see there's tons of coralline algae that has grown over it but from the skeleton we're getting living monopora coral so that was a grayed out rock for a long time and now there's a lot of new small colonies of monopora capricornis growing out of it so that's always a good sign really really cool to see the main things that we're doing with this aquarium is one, we did a cyano treatment because there had been a little bit of cyano on this hammer coral, which is also getting thicker and having a little bit better color. And then we've been gravel vacking the sand. We've gravel vacked here, and we just gravel back this corner, and now we're about to gravel back by the anemone. So I realized I buried the lead after rewatching that clip, that coral came back to life. It had been grayed out skeleton for at least six months. The owner said we had discussed getting him another piece of monopora to grow over that skeleton once his tank was ready. And lo and behold, it had been alive all along, even though it looked totally dead, came back to life, starting to grow over there. I fully expect it to recover that skeleton within the next couple of months. We, we've seen this a couple times before. The first time I noticed it was actually in a 400 gallon aquarium, a cube tank, and there were huge pieces of monopora, um, you know, two feet across easily. And they had been grayed out for the owner told us years that he hadn't seen any polyps coming out of them. After a few months, we started to notice a couple polyps and not too long after that, there were good sized chunks of the monopora starting to grow back. So that goes to show you how resilient these animals can be. Um, I guess that's it. I just wanted to talk more about it because I, I think that's really cool. And you know, if you're setting up an aquarium and you lose a coral, maybe don't throw away the skeleton right away. There's a chance. There's always a chance. I've seen it happen with favias, hammers, um, basically any of the fleshy LPS corals. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Check out this scarlet snake. This is actually a lifer for me. I've never, oh, hey, hey, buddy. Hey, bud, calm down, calm down. I've actually never seen a scarlet snake before. 